Let's look at some examples of computing the exact value of some of our trig functions for some of our special angles in the first quadrant. Uh, so I've included uh, over here on the right side, I've included our first quadrant of the unit circle uh, along with the special angles that we have, the 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees, and then their corresponding radio, uh, radian measures. Um, and I've also included the points, um, the terminal points on the unit circle for each of those angles. Okay, uh, so we want to compute sine of 30 degrees first. And so remember when we're talking about sine, we want to look at the, uh, the y coordinate. So for sine of 30 degrees, we want to find our 30 degree angle and we want to look at the y coordinate. Okay, so the coordinates, the, the point, the terminal point for 30 degrees is uh, square root of 3 over 2 for x and then 1 half for y. And so we're going to say that y is 1 half. Okay, now let's try an, another one. Let's look at uh, cosine of 45 degrees. So again, let's... Uh, find the terminal point, find its coordinates for 45 degrees. So again, 45 degrees is in the middle uh, of the unit circle. And its coordinate is root 2 over 2, comma, root 2 over 2. For cosine, if you remember, we want the x value. So we are going to use, uh, we're going to say that the cosine of 45 is a square root of 2 over 2. Next, we want to look at tangent. Okay, and we're not looking at a degrees this time. We have tangent of pi over 6, so we're looking at a radian value. So again, same thing, find pi over 6. Uh, it corresponds to the 30-degree angle. And then find its coordinates. So the coordinates at pi over 6 are root 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. And if you remember for tangent, tangent is y over x. So tangent of pi over 6 would be 1 half divided by a root 3 over 2. And a nice thing here is the 2's are all going to cancel, and so we get that tangent of pi over 6 is equal to 1 over a square root of 3. Alright, the last one we want to look at is sine of pi over 2. Okay, so sine of pi over 2, it's not one of the, the special angles that we have, but it is a nice angle. Uh, so let's find where sine of, or where pi over 2 is uh, located. Uh, pi over 2 corresponds to 90 degrees, and so pi over 2 is actually a, a quadrantal angle. It's a fancy little term, but it just means that it's an angle that um, corresponds to one of the axes. Okay, So in this case, pi over 2 uh, lands on the positive y-axis. Right? So for sine, at sine of pi over 2, remember we want to find the y-coordinate. Okay, So sine of pi over 2 is 1. Okay, So here's just a, a few examples of how we can use the unit circle to figure out uh, the values of sine, cosine, and tangent uh, for angles that are within the first quadrant, which means we're talking about acute angles. Right? Which we've already seen how to do that using our 30, 60, 90, 45, 45, 90 triangles. Uh, but by doing this, we're going to be able to expand what we can do from just acute angles to being able to do any angle, right? We just, we need to combine it with our, our understanding of reference numbers and terminal numbers and stuff like that, all right?